In an average month, the Israeli government issues about 2,000 gun licenses. But over the last three months, the number doubled as Israelis take advantage of looser rules for handguns. Israel's government says it's just getting started. It looks like something out of an action movie, but this training center deep in the West Bank is training civilians to use guns. They say they are needed to prevent terrorist attacks. Colonel Sharon Gott owns this firing range. Give responsible people to carry the weapon so they can stop attacks. Do you worry that with more guns on the streets, Israel could start to take gun violence like in the U.S.? No. Any terror attack where you see someone murdering civilians, you can use your weapon. Unlike the U.S., Israel has universal background checks. Getting a license requires a doctor's sign-off, gun training, an interview, and a reason you need extra security. With few exceptions, you can only have one gun and up to 50 bullets, and only pistols. But after a string of deadly attacks by Palestinians, Israel's far-right national security minister, Itamar Ben-Gvir, is promising change, aiming to issue five times as many licenses per month. Most moms don't want their kids anywhere near guns. Why did you bring your daughter here? Uh, we live in a reality where it is almost a necessity. There are stabbings and terrorist attacks everywhere, um, and we want to have a little bit of control. The current plan calls for shortening waiting times, doubling the staff who issue licenses, and eliminating interviews for firefighters, police, and military reservists. Although Israel has far fewer guns per person than the U.S., they're no less visible in a country always on high alert. Many Israelis were trained during military service. But while terrorism is a top concern, Israel doesn't see constant mass shootings like the U.S. School shootings are nearly non-existent. Are there lessons to be learned in Israel from gun violence in the U.S.? Definitely, definitely. It's, it's a path that we should look at very carefully. Pro-gun people tend to say very easily, we're not the U.S. <laughs> the question is, why aren't we the U.S.? Gun control advocates say more firearms will lead to vigilante justice with little accountability. This is where you were shot, right here? Oh, hold Hader Gudab is 15, a Palestinian in Jerusalem's old city. Last month, he was walking home when he says an Orthodox Jewish neighbor blocked their shared alleyway. They began arguing, and the man started shooting. One bullet grazed Hader's neck, another struck his arm. Israeli police say the shooter was charged with unlawful use of a firearm and causing serious injury, briefly placed under house arrest, then conditionally released. The Israeli government wants more of these kinds of people to have handguns. Does that scare you? He says, not just me, everyone will be scared. After what happened to me, people here are scared to walk alone. But just like in the U.S., Israel's gun advocates say the guns themselves aren't the problem. Ben Goldstein believes they're the solution. He says a few years ago, he stopped a suspicious-looking Palestinian who he says was about to attack a supermarket. And after questioning him with no weapon in my hand, just like I'm standing now with my gun covered, he decided to try to slaughter me. And I'm standing talking to you today, and he's not. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.